Just a little slap. <laughs> this feels really good. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Is that how you always talk to your wine glasses? <laughs> if I've had two or three of them. Oh! oh! I'm Jake. I'm Mida, and we're testing out inventions to see if they live up to expectations. We're here to answer the biggest question. It's cool. But does it really work? So today we're gonna test out the Mighty Mug. It claims to be leak proof and it doesn't spill over because it grips down onto any smooth or flat surface. We've got the nice coffee mugs for your commute to work. We've got the wine glass and the beer glass. Now, if these things work, I will be a changed man because I'm spilling drinks everywhere. It's kind of what I'm known for. All right, so we have a lot of videos on a computer from the internet that test out the Mighty Mug. Cue it up. There's a kitty. Cash can't drop it. That guy can't chop it. He was literally karate chop. <laughs> yeah. That's happened to that me. Ha before. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! We have to try that out. We've seen the video. Looks plausible. Looks pretty cool. Thoughts? The coffee mug was actually pretty sturdy, and I think it'll actually work. But the wine glass seems a little bit questionable because it's more fragile. I want this to work so freaking bad. I'm so excited because you got that wine sitting on top of that. Like I can sneeze and knock over a wine glass. So if this works, it's like gravity who? So Jake, I don't think you can change the laws of gravity, but let's try it out. We have a full pitcher of water here and some green food coloring, and we have this so we can see the water just in case it spills. Oh, yes! Oh my god, I feel like I'm in Harry Potter. Ooh. Uh -huh. Does that make you like Professor Snape? I am Professor Snape. I'm going to <laughs> dare you to drink this later. Okay. Uh, okay! Let's see. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, nothing happened. Real quick, so I want to try something, Meta. Ready? Yes. Don't do that. It didn't leak. I think this is just like any regular mug right now. It is time. So we are going to play with these Mighty Mugs. We're going to jiggle it. We're going to karate Ooh. chop it. And we're going to do, you know, a little test to see if this budges. I saw the dude in the video. He was like karate chopping it. And I've been practicing my moves. I'm so ready. Let's give it a budge. Let's see what happens. Ready? I'm moving. Good. I feel like if you were in the kitchen and you're like, oh, 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 see? oh, excuse me. I need to grab my keys. Oh, to, ow. Oh, look at that. Mighty mug is safe. Now let's take it up a notch. <laughs> All right, channel our energy. Ready? In three, two, two one. one. Oh, 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 it broke. Uh, Literally, <laughs> oh my God. Look what happened to my mug. It broke in half. Here's the thing, Jake, Jake, look. It didn't really break, and it didn't spill at all. Oh, it just detached. It just detached, which is like a defense mechanism. It was like, it didn't spill, you're right, but it flew across the room like a freaked out chicken. <laughs> it's been a long day of testing out the internet's wildest products, so it's time for a happy hour. I just wanna point out, I think that this actually will work better then the coffee mugs worked. These are a little bit more flexible. We have our pitcher of water right here. So I'm going to pour some for you, Mr. Jake Arroyo. A toast. A toast. To Mighty Mug and to its durability. In water. In water. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Oops. Let's try, okay. Mine is doing a pretty good job. It's spilling a little. We need splash zone, guys. You're gonna lose a little liquid if yeah. you're hitting it around like this, but you won't lose a glass. Let me uh, propose an idea. Okay. Forget that these are wine glasses and beer glasses. If you have a toddler running around the house and they're constantly just spilling their Kool-Aid, they're spilling their juice all over the carpet, this is a pretty good solution. Like, hey, Ralphie, Quit spilling stuff, Ralphie. Is Boom. That, is that gonna be the name of your future kid? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can sneeze the whole time. I can sneeze and knock over a wine glass. So we're trying out the incline test. That guy in the video made this look so easy. Let's see if this really works or if it was all magic. 
Oh, man. All right, here we go. Now, this is the moment of truth. Oh, man. Here it is. <gasps> I want my money back. Let's, uh, let's see how much force these Mighty Mugs can handle. I am really excited to beat the crap out of this Mighty Mug right now. Okay, so I'm gonna try to tip this untippable mug over. I think I wanna start with a little test hit. Just a little slap. <laughs> this feels really good. It's okay. Here, there we go. <laughs> It's clanging and not doing anything. Okay. Wow. All right. Um I cannot do this. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> You know, honestly, it works a lot better than I was expecting it to. If you are looking for product that won't spill the liquids inside your cup, then Mighty Bug can work, especially if you get the coffee mugs. That's exactly right. This is great if you're a little bit, a little clumsy, like, oh, sorry, like long day at the office. But like, I would not advise taking these like glasses or mugs to like your Taekwondo practice. And we have to admit, we did try really extreme tests to see if these were spillable or leak proof. And we came to the conclusion that these do work, but under high circumstances and wild circumstances, these are not your mugs. Yeah, they're good for an accident, not so good for like if you're chasing a bull or something. Was this invention a total disaster? Or a huge success? Or somewhere in between? Let us know in the comments. The hand, you know, your hands are full. You could probably just like, oh, wait, you can't drink. <laughs> yeah, because you could lap it up like a kitten. What is a hors d'oeuvre? It's French. 